The MCU has Telepaths, Psychopaths, and now an Empath. This week we're taking a look at Marvel Legends Mantis. Daughter and Sleep Machine of Ego the Living Planet. But wait a second, aren't all planets living? Yes, but this had a face and a son, S-O-N, that is also Mantis' stepbrother. Shut up. Wake up my dad and get me grounded. Mantis kind of looks how her name sounds. An alien bug lady who can sense how someone is feeling from a simple touch. I told you not to touch it! She can also alter feelings like making Thanos docile while her friends and the Avengers stole his bling. But my favorite is how she plays Cupid and forces anyone who meets Drax to fall in love with him. Articulation, bruh. Despite having a lot of hair, the head's on a ball and hinge giving her that much down, not a lot of up because of the hair, some left to right, and not a lot of tilt. There's a bit but not a lot of crunch on the upper torso, back about the same, and tilts left to right, rotates but no waist swivel or ab crunch. Arms rotate right around, there's a bicep swivel, a deep pinless double jointed elbow. I didn't really notice this with Nebula, but her arms don't pin down to her side. But they do ball and hinge all the way up, hands rotate, and hinge up and down. For such an acrobatic character, she doesn't kick up an awful lot, but kicks out a good amount, upper thigh swivel, a deep double jointed pinless knee. There's a nicely hidden boot swivel, feet hinge down, hinge up, and rocks like the actress playing Mantis. Hello, ah! Hello, ah! <laughs> Accessories! Does this purse go with my bra, bra? I'm unavailable for a very real reason. Ah, go sit yourself. With the improved female articulation, Mantis can go sit herself. Now an avid bird watcher, here's Marvel Legends Drax. And with a worm on the hook, here is Groot. And with his early morning coffee and newspaper, here's Star-Lord. Biologically, none of the sisters have the same mister. Here is Star Wars Black Series Princess Leia, Marvel Legends Gamora, and Nebula. What are you doing? Smiling. Unfortunately, I relate to a lot of these characters. Here's Marvel Legends Drax doing an Egyptian dance of some sort. Here's Vision. And I'm sure he has a last name, but I don't know it. Here's Ned. And last, a bunch of monsters for Mantis to control. Here's McFarlane's Toys King Shark and NECA's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Razar. I also found an old Mattel Jurassic Park Velociraptor. And just for fun, here's Mantis sitting on him and the Plasma series Ghostbusters Teradog. I never thought she'd be able to do it with as weak and skinny as she appears to be. Think on sexy thoughts. Think on sexy thoughts. Mantis is Nebula Light. Same base body, but with none of the accessories. The actress playing Nebula is 5'11", and Mantis is 5'7", so she should have scaled a little bit smaller. That being said, the base body has potential to make any female with fair skin a member of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Hasbro, if you could release that classic Mantis look with double jointed pinless elbows and knees, that would be great. With zero accessories and inaccurate scaling, I should dislike this release. I don't know if it's missing out on the Mantis Build-A-Figure, the updated face printing sculpt, or the unified look of the team. But I am happy with this release. Please subscribe and smash them thumbs up, ya bum. And remember, collect responsibly.